All right, hello, my little Washington Eagles. It is math time. Um, the one thing I really want you all to practice over this break is your multiplication facts. It will take you a long way if you know your multiplication facts. I am personally okay. If you need to count on your fingers to multiply, then do that, okay? But it's also good to know to have these facts down in your head. So we're just going to be practicing these stories. We worked on this some during the year, and I want you to use these stories to help you remember your multiplication facts. So I'm going to quickly go over the zero. So zero times any number is zero. That's because zero is the king. The king likes everyone to be like him. So when any number is with zero, the king takes over and the answer is always zero. What is zero times five? Right, it's zero. What is zero times three? Zero times 936? Zero. They all have the same answer because the king takes over. It's zero. When it comes to your two facts, perfect, use your hands. Two times three, two, four, six. Two times three is six. Use your fingers. Count by twos up to that number. We're good. But I'll read the story now. When the two numbers are multiplied, it doesn't matter which number comes first. You can always get the same answer. Two strawberries times four is eight, and four times two is eight. So four times two is eight, and two times four is eight. That is true for any multiplication fact. So two strawberries. Two times four is eight strawberries, and four times two is eight strawberries. Now, we're going to move on to our three facts, which I want you to think about the story. I didn't draw it on our board because three times three is nine, but I'm going to go ahead and read the story, and I want you to be thinking about it as I read. Out in the country lived a blind mama mouse. She was very happy because she was going to have triplets. She was worried about one thing. She had a cousin that was born without a tail. Every time the cousin tried to sit up, he would fall over because he had no tail to hold his legs. The mama mouse hoped and hoped that her babies would each have a tail. The birthday came, and to mama's delight, each baby had not one tail, but three tails each. The mama mouse was so proud. Remember, when it's three times three, there are three blind mice with three tails each. Nine altogether, and blind sounds like nine. So three blind nine mouse. Three times three is nine. Our next story we're going to practice on the board. It is 3 times 4 is 12. Our story is none of the kids at South School liked math. Each time they tried to do a problem, they couldn't remember their times tables. They wished they could just forget about math. Then their teacher said, you all need to know some math to get a good job when you grow up. The principal told the teachers about the pictures and stories in Times Tables the Fun Way. The kids loved it. They were finally learning their Times Tables. They were so happy, they sang a cheer. One, two, three, four. I like math. Let's do some more. One, two, three, four. Four times three is twelve. Remember, when it's three times four, the kids begin to cheer. The beginning of the cheer is 1, 2, there's your answer, 12, is the answer to 3 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I like math. Let's do some more. So here's our cheer. 1, 2, 3, 4. I like math. Let's do some more. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 is Our next story is 4 times 4 is 16. Bart loved hang gliding. He learned to fly when he was 14. He 
The only thing he didn't like was hiking his hang glider to the top of the hill so he could lie down. He wished he was 16 so he could drive. And that he had a four-wheel drive to get to the top of the hill. He went to Bernie's Burgers and got a job working after school. By the time he turned 16, he saved enough money to buy a four by four. He was so happy because his trip up the hill was almost as much fun as flying down. So, remember, when it's four times four, the fours are the four by four car, and you have to be 16 to drive your four by four car. So, four times four is 16. That four by four, you have to be 16 to drive that four by four. So here we are, here's our picture, just to remember, I want you to visually think about this. Oh, four times four is 16. Here's Bart, he's driving his car, and he has to be 16 to drive, so four times four is 16. <clears throat> so to practice our math facts, three times four is 12. One, two, three, four. I like math, let's do some more. The king takes over, so zero times 10 would be zero. A thousand times zero would be zero because there's that king. One times a thousand, it's like the one is looking in a mirror. So one times a thousand is, I said that opposite, sorry. It's like the thousand is looking at the mirror. The one is the mirror. So one times a thousand is a thousand. The four is looking into the mirror. So one times four is four. Three times three, the three blind Mice, three times three is nine. And our four by four is 16, because you have to be 16 to drive that four by four. All right, I'll see you next time.